So we're going to listen to the Spaniard. <laughs> Welcome back to Spotlight. Shaw's Spotlight is on Manfred's guitar, wherever you are in your living room. Don't touch that channel flipper. I'm here for you. And so is Brandon Schmore, all the way from Vernon. Before we start the music, I just came back from Portugal, Lisbon, had a fantastic time, lost in Toledo, met some wonderful musicians in Fez in Morocco, and on the way home back, knowing that we were going to do this, I thought to myself, what, 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 what do I do to open up the show? So, a lonely Spaniard, a little bit of Spanish music. <laughs> Thank you. 
Brandon is here with us, and I think, Brandon, what you're going to do is twinkle the keyboard a little bit to see if the beast is in tune, right? Ladies and gentlemen, Brandon Schmore from Vernon, a really great guy, won lots of accolades, lots of awards. Brandon, how are you? Uh, very well, very, very well. How's the piece sounding? Ah, let's see. <laughs> So what you did is you just ran your fingers over the keyboards, uh, stuff that you liked, and you checked it out to see if it's if all the keys are there, and everything works. You're happy with that? Yes. Well, it has 88 keys, and uh, and the you know it feels like a piano, so I'm not picky, not at all. And Brandon, just before we just before we start the uh, the business of um, your ability to play like mad, later on you're going to play one of your own songs. Where can people find the music for this? Well, uh, unless uh, you want to um, poke into my brain, because unfortunately I don't uh, read or write sheet music, so all of the music is in here. Um, so if you want it, you've got to come and get it. So that's what I mean about Brandon, uh, folks. He doesn't read a single note, and he can do this stuff without too much thought, and he's a charm. Brings us, Brandon, to a little bit about yourself. How many pianos do you have now? It usually varies from uh, time to time. Uh, at one point, I admittedly was shamefully up to 80 pianos and organs. <sighs> I mean, full-size antique pianos and old pump organs, like the you know, old reed organs. And uh, I had to, after... Um, R realizing that uh, I needed to find homes for at least some of these. I think I was down to 30 at one point, but now I'm back up to 50 because, well, I can't turn away a piano that needs a home. You said 50. You've got 50 pianos. Yeah, I went overboard again, but I'm happy this time because these are good quality, historical pieces, beautiful instruments. How many have I seen? You've only seen very few. Uh, you just the ones um, located in the main section of uh, the house, which has, I want to say, seven pianos in the parlor. Um, so and, and you fix them? Yes, I do the necessary work myself. I find that uh, if I were to hire a piano tuner for every single piano that I collected, I'd be even more um, out of cash than I could ever begin to imagine. Do you realize this is a dangerous topic? Ask me why. Why? <laughs> what if people out there watching the Spotlight program have a spare piano that they don't want and they find out about you? Then what? Well, you know me and pianos. I, pianos and I have a very... Um, strong, eclectic, and serious really? relationship. That's a very good way to put it, yeah. And just for, just for there are lots of pianos, uh, lots of piano players in the, in the Okanagan, tons of them, of great piano players, uh, fantastic ones. And uh, the piano players know what you're talking about. It's a program about Manfred's guitar, but we're really, really lucky because we can find people like you to talk and speak eloquently about what you like to play. This program is not just about guitars. Please get a hold of uh, Sean. Get a hold of me at some point and uh, find out through, what's that, YouTube? Yeah, I suppose I have a yep. few things, but nothing professional. Google, Google YouTube and look for uh, some of the past shows because... Um, people are starting to see the thing uh, outside of Canada. Yes, indeed. Um, so lastly, um, almost lastly, what are some of your uh, favorite uh, pianos that you have, whether they work or not, or whether they're in great condition or what? But you've got some real dillies, and you showed them to me. There's some people out there that would like to know what you've got your meat hooks on. Yes, well, that's the fascinating thing about pianos is that generally they're quite diverse amongst one another, especially when you get into the pre-turn-of-the-century era. 
Uh, one, of course, is my beloved prized 1853 Chickering Square Grand Piano made in Boston prior to the Civil War. And so this particular piano is a magnificent rosewood and coincidentally for being of that age is uh, a beautiful playing instrument. A square ground piano is uh, the kind that you see that are rectangular. You don't see them very often anymore. It's uh, four legs and rectangular. Uh, as well as that, I have uh, myself a, um, a uh, Mason and Reich 1919 art case grand piano, which uh, has beautifully uh, carved legs and uh, it just it's a fantastic piece. And of course, my uh, very unusual Heinzmann transposing piano, similar to that which was used by Irving Berlin, the composer. <coughs> yes, indeed. Yeah, 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 yeah. The piano actually is able to transpose the key that you play in without physically having to transpose the key by shifting a lever that moves the keyboard up and down in relation to the action. It's, uh, it's an interesting uh, fact because um, Irving Berlin, uh, you know, White Christmas Irving Berlin, uh, preferred, uh, he was self-taught, much like myself, um, but he, he really did prefer to play in the key of F sharp. Now, I can't fathom why, because F sharp isn't exactly a very comfortable key to play in, but genius works in many ways. And so when live performing, uh, with, uh, especially with other singers, he would um, use a piano as such. So what he's talking about is kind of interesting for guitar players. The piano he's talking about has a lever underneath it, so you, you kick that or pull that or push that. That's the business of transposing. And uh, while we're on the subject of transposing, we're going to transfer Manfred's mouth over to the special guest. And in this case, <laughs> put your hands together and give a Brandon an applause. We need it. Let's go. Because we're running out of time. And, and Brandon, you're going to play an original words. tune of my, um, of my own. Yes, yes, indeed. I uh, don't just listen to songs and play them. I also compose originals, which are, you know, in my head. This particular song is called uh, Brighter Day. I wrote Period it of writing? I wrote it several years back, and uh, it was written... It was a mix of feelings. It was one of those kind of semi-pop blues rock songs that I find, uh, you know, as musically. But then, the, as for the lyrics, was in a sense you can really look at it as a simple, uh, you know, uh, power ballad of heartbreak and whatnot. But it's a bit of everything and anything. Fire away. <laughs>
for a brighter day. Yep, that was Brandon, and uh, he needs to take a two-second break. Uh, you know what, Brandon, let's take also take a second to uh, uh, give a big, big, big fat thanks to uh, our audio man, who also lives in Vernon, Chris Edie. Chris Everybody Edie. knows Chris Edie. Uh, a big, big fat thank you for uh, Chris Edie for taking your truck down and dragging you down and all your junk and all your stuff, including the harmonium that we don't get to play. And um, the little mandroids are happy to see you. I've brought uh, a nice little uh, Spanish guitar from Seville that somebody bought for me. And uh, we're a mile a minute here because uh, I've got to slip in something really quick before Brandon does another number. And my God, help me, we're running out of time. It's going to be 2019 before you know it. And speaking of old songs, what do you got? What do you got for time there? Help. I have a stopwatch. My time is on this. <laughs> is that a Timex? Uh, no, no, it's actually, uh, it's actually a, um, a chronograph. Uh, you, every, all of my watches... You wind by hand, and no you batteries. And, and your collection of? Well, everything. Antique, electric fans, fans. Uh, lamps, uh, old architectural salvage, stained glass windows and Fans, doors. anybody old fans? And uh, while we're on the topic of um, having come back from Europe, I just, I do, I do my things, what do you call it, on the run? Wing job? Yeah. Okay, Pri prior to that, a portion of a song when I lived in the south of France at the Conservatory of Music in Nice. And recently, the incident of people driving trucks through crowded people. I felt really bad about that. I have a little message for the city of Nice. And I'm going to rip that off right now. You're going to get an intro and a verse and a chorus. Brandon, hang on. Let me do this one on my own. I know you can't wait to get in there, but Give me a second, and then we will do another one, a little slower. And then, God help me, time is running out. I've got to play one fast piece. Don't touch that channel flipper, folks. We're here with you. We're in your living room, wherever you are. Your pickup truck. If you've got, if you got Shaw Cable in there, the spotlight is on us right now. And here... La Côte d'Azur, which translates to Beside the Blue. Another work from my earlier years. Here we go. <laughs> and the capo has to come off. up with you or follow you. But if you feel comfortable in C, F, and G7, twinkle away a little bit. I never knew just what it takes for my little heart to wake. But now I'm here and you are there. I can't believe it's true. Won't you come to me, baby? Leave the ice and snow. Let the sunshine love you along the cold as well. Bon an yon et pour moi ne viennent tu pas. Manque plus pour toi. Je te tends bien sûr sur notre beau ciel pur. Intro. Come to me, baby. 
Leave the ice and snow Let the sunshine love you Well, on the cold as of For all my francophone friends in northern Alberta Pour moi ne viens-tu pas Mon couple pour toi Je te tends bien sûr Sous notre beau ciel pure Now I long to see you And hold you close to me I often read your letters, baby Just before I sleep And you've got a nice slow ballad that you wrote some time ago. Yes, uh, yes I do. Uh, this, uh, pardon, well, I gather my lyrics because, of course, I can remember the infinite amount of music, but unfortunately, uh, lyrics are yeah. intermittent. <laughs> do you know how nice it is to have you on this show? You don't know. Well, you I know what? You know what? You know. I would certainly hope you're uh, enjoying quick, give my me a Kleenex. Quick, give me a Kleenex. You have no idea how happy I am. Selfish me. How happy I am to drag you out of bed at 6:30 this morning and to get you to come down here and then present yourself to a whole. I don't know how many people. How many people watch Shaw? We don't know. A whole bunch. A whole bunch of people get to see you like they've never seen you before. Never mind me. I'm a little piece of old junk, but oh. having you having you as the first guest for this new series makes me feel good, Brandon. Fire I away. I assure you, it's it's an absolute honor. It's the it's the Brandon and Fred Mutual Admiration Society, and he's going to go and give us a title and rip off another one of his numbers. Yes, this particular number I had written uh, in October last uh, last year, and so. You know, it's one of those songs about, uh, you know, loneliness and overcoming it, and you're just, just rebuilding yourself at the worst of times and coming out on top. Bon, 
leaving It takes a strong will to keep on living Ain't nobody ever gonna tell me what to do, yeah I'll be just fine without you Seems like life's out to get me, yeah It got nobody on my side I'm working hard just to give myself a chance I can't get off this crazy Without